This time on What's New at DXE, new radios, bandpass filters, publications, and a whole lot more. Welcome back to the DX Engineering channel. I'm Michael, KI8R. I have lots of new products to share with you, so let's dive right in. DX Engineering is now offering several BioNO power packages. Each of these include a battery, charge controller, and a solar panel. These kits have batteries ranging in capacity from 3 to 30 amp hours and solar panels ranging in size from 28 to 100 watts. They also offer a 20 amp charge controller. Each kit includes hand-picked components designed to seamlessly work together. They work great for POTA, SOTA, field day, or operating from your campsite or backyard, and will provide reliable power for your portable setup. The next item on our list is a new high-speed keying relay that was inspired by the original KD9SV keying relay. This unit is designed to protect your transceiver's keying circuit from potential damage by amplifier relays. High voltage and high current amplifier keying relays were common in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. The DXE SVKR can safely key all DC amplifier relays and keying inputs that operate at plus or minus 100 volts DC. It includes the one PTT input and two PTT outputs. Each output is isolated from the other and is capable of handling plus or minus 450 volts DC at up to half an amp. The relay is QSK compatible and will work with any amplifier that supports high-speed keying. The keying relay can also be used to isolate straight key or electronic key connections to any CW input as well. This is perfect for older rigs that have high voltage CW key jacks, which were common on old tube type transmitters and transceivers. The keying relay will be available later this year. VE2DX is now offering five port true CIV data hubs for many ICOM and some Shagu transceivers. The hubs make it simple to connect to multiple CIV devices. They include advanced RFI filtering on all ports, signals, power sources, and grounds. The hubs make it easy to interface your rig to many different station devices, including band decoders, antenna switch controllers, amplifiers, tuners, bandpass filters, and more. VE2DX offers multiple versions of these hubs, including Bluetooth models, which will pair to a computer and isolate it from the RF side of any ICOM station. These units will work with legacy ICOMs from the IC735 to the newer 7300 and 9700, and two of the units work with the IC705, ID52, and ID5100. Three new radios were recently announced at the Tokyo Ham Fair. The Yaesu FTX1F, the ICOM 2730B, and the ICOM IC7760. For only $35, you can secure your place in line for one of these new rigs, and the $35 you pay now will be applied to the purchase of your new rig when it's available. The IC7760 is expected to be available later this year or early next year, while the 2730B and the Yaesu FTX1F will be available in 2025. ICOM recently announced two new versions of the ID52, the ID52A Plus and the ID52A Plus Anniversary Edition. The ID52A Plus adds new features to its older sibling, including enhanced Bluetooth, which gives you the ability to connect to an Android device in terminal and access point mode, the ability to operate terminal mode and simplex or repeater operation at the same time. It also replaces the USB-B port with USB-C, for faster connections and charging. The Plus model is expected to be in stock in early November. To help celebrate ICOM's 60th anniversary, they're releasing a limited number of ID52A Plus Anniversary Edition radios. This rig is very similar to the ID52A Plus, but also includes a metallic colored body, embossed hand strap, and comes in a commemorative box. ICOM has finally released the long-awaited PW2 amplifier. This amp features full duty cycle operation and uses 65 volt LDMOS power transistors along with a high efficiency power supply, which allows it to output up to one kilowatt. This amp also features digital pre-distortion when using the ICOM 7610 or the 7760. Other features include two x six automatic antenna selection allowing two radio inputs and six antenna ports, 
allowing the amplifier to behave as if it were two separate amps. This also allows for the dual receiver ICOM rigs like the 7851, 7760, and 7610 to use two bands at once while using two different antennas. The amp can also be remotely controlled using the optional remote control software. We are expecting more of these to be in stock soon. New from Shell Elegance is the KC4 4-band vertical antenna. This HF vertical works on 40, 20, 15, and 10 meters and can handle up to 1,000 watts PEP, 500 watts CW, and 300 watts for digital. At 15.4 pounds and 25.6 feet tall, this antenna is rated to cover 150 kilohertz on 40, all of 20 and 15, and 1 megahertz on 10 meters. Radialist design and easy assembly make this a great choice for anyone looking for an effective antenna. This is expected to be in stock in November. Also new from Chelligans is a new 15.75 foot portable telescoping tripod, which is designed to support antennas like the MC599 and JPC7, making this the perfect mass for MCOM, POTA, and SOTA. At just over nine pounds of this lightweight yet durable aluminum tripod is easy to transport and set up and can handle antennas weighing over 19 and a half pounds. DX Engineering is now offering bandpass filters from 403A, covering bands from 160 through 6 meters. Each of these filters can handle up to 4,500 watts PEP, are fan-cooled, and offer greater than 55 dB of out-of-band rejection. The 403A filters have an insertion loss of half a dB and are, and are available with either SO239 or Type-N connectors. Antennas Amplifiers is also offering bandpass filters covering 160 through 10 meters, with a power handling capability between 2 and 4,000 watts, depending on the model. These filters have an insertion loss of approximately 0.1 dB and an out-of-band attenuation range from 35 to 55 dB. New from Chameleon is an ultralight portable tripod. Weighing in at just over a pound, this tripod folds down to 8 and a quarter inches. It offers a unique two-in-one interface, allowing for attachment of antennas and other equipment that accept either quarter or three-eighth screws. The tripod comes complete with two Allen keys, a Cha tripod adapter, and a carry bag. Also new from Chameleon are three versions of their basic, limited edition in-fed antennas, which are available in 30, 60, and 130-foot versions. They're constructed using 20-gauge tin copper Kevlar PTFE, and include a 5 to 1 unin. Weighing in at approximately 2 pounds, these antennas are compact, lightweight, water resistant, and easy to deploy for POTA, camping, and other field operations. They're also perfect as a base station antenna. The infed design makes them easy to deploy as a horizontal, vertical, inverted L, or sloper antenna. These antennas are rated to handle 200 watts on sideband, 100 watts on CW, and 50 watts on digital. The 30-foot version covers 80 through 6 meters, while the longer versions cover 160 through 6 meters. They will require a wide-ranging antenna tuner. Moonraker has a 26-foot portable telescopic mast. Made from aluminum, this mast weighs in at 8.8 .8 pounds, has six sections, and collapses to 5.5 feet making this mast perfect for portable or permanent installations. These masts are perfect for small VHF and UHF antennas or lightweight wire antennas and have a range in diameter from one to two inches. Each mast also includes guy rings for added stability. The MAT M200 is a 200 watt automatic tuner for many of the ICOM and Kenwood HF radios. Featuring 16,000 frequency memories, this 1.8 pound tuner covers 1.8 to 54 megahertz and can handle up to 200 watts on the HF bands and 100 watts on six meters. While it's rated to handle 100 watts on FT8, we recommend keeping the power down closer to 30 or 40 watts since a high SWR can generate excess heat inside the tuner. The M200 comes with an ICOM control cable and an optional cable for Kenwoods is also available. DX Engineering is now offering coaxial surge protectors from Cytel. Ranging from 15 to 780 watts of power handling and frequency coverage up to 4 GHz, 
These surge protectors provide protection against transient overvoltages. Each of these devices have a replaceable gas discharge tube, offer a low insertion loss, and have a waterproof housing. The Extra Class Question Pool is recently updated, so if you've been thinking about upgrading to Extra, now is a great time. To help with that, there are new publications from ARL and Ham Radio School. Each of these publications will help you prepare for the Extra Class test and include all 603 questions from the question pool. Upgrading to Extra will give you access to all the frequencies on every ham band, including the 80 meter DX window and the complete 40, 20, and 15 meter ham bands. And that wraps up this edition for What's New at DXE. Links for each of these items will be available in the description below. Also, as of the time of this recording, all of these items are in stock, except for the Chelligansa KC4, the ICOM PW2 and ID52 Plus, and the KD9SV Relay. Thanks for watching. I'm Michael, KI8R, and we'll catch you on the next one.